Reflect Package. In programming languages, there is usually a reflection feature, where we can see the structure of our code while the application is running. This can be done in Golang using the Reflect Package. This feature may not be able to be discussed in full in one video. You can explore this reflex package on your own. Reflection is very useful when we want to create a general library that is easy to use. Firstly, it utilizes the reflect type of function to obtain the type of the variable v. The type information is stored in a reflect type variable t. This allows for dynamically determining the type of the variable at runtime, which can be useful for certain generic programming scenarios or debugging purposes. Subsequently, it retrieves the value of the variable v using the reflect value of function, storing the result in a reflect value variable val. This enables accessing and manipulating the value of the variable v through reflection. If a variable t is a slice using reflection in Go, if the variable is indeed a slice, it iterates over its elements and prints each element to the console. It uses t kind from the reflect package to get the kind of the variable t. If t, kind, returns reflect. Slice, it means that t is a slice. Inside the if block, the code enters a loop to iterate over the elements of the slice. It uses val, len, to get the length of the slice and val, index i, to access each element of the slice at index i. For each element, it prints the element to the console using fmt, println. In this else block, it handles cases where the variable t is either a slice nor a map. It prints a message indicating that it's printing the value of the variable. It prints the value of the variable val directly to the console using fmt. This else if block extends the previous code snippet to handle cases where the variable t is a map. It utilizes reflection in Go to check if t is a map, and if so, it iterates over the key value pairs of the map and prints each pair to the console. It checks if the kind of the variable t is reflect.map using t, kind, from the reflect package. If t, kind, returns reflect.map it means that t is a map. Inside the if block, it prints a message indicating that the variable is a map. It retrieves the keys of the map using val. Map keys. This returns a slice containing all the keys of the map. It iterates over the keys using a for loop, and for each key, it retrieves the corresponding value from the map using val. Map index key. For each key value pair, it prints the key and its corresponding value to the console using fmt. Println. We define variables of different types, an integer, number, a string, str, a slice of integers, slice, and a map with string keys and integer values, mapping. Number, it is an integer variable initialized with the value 10. str, it is a string variable initialized with the value hello, world. Slice, it is a slice of integers initialized with the values 1, 2, and 3. Mapping, it is a map with string keys, a and b, and integer values, 1 and 2. We inspect the type and value of each variable by calling a function print type and value for each variable. It prints a message indicating the variable being inspected, e.g. variable number variable str etc. It calls the print type and value function for each variable passing the variable as an argument. The print type and value function prints the type and value of the variable passed to it. Okay, let's run it. And this is the result.